And shake up in the race for governor as former Honolulu Mayor Kurt Caldwell says he will not be running. After a year of trailing Lieutenant Governor Josh Green, Caldwell's campaign struggled to raise funds and gain traction with voters. It's the latest shake up in what's already shaping up to be one of Hawaii's biggest elections. A new governor, lieutenant governor and potentially a congressional seat will be on the ballot as will the entire legislature. Our Ben Gutierrez joins us now with the breakdown. Governor David Ige has reached his two-term limit, and Lieutenant Governor Josh Green is running for the job. But following lockdowns, restrictions, and scandals, Hawaii voters have the potential to shake things up. Because of redistricting, all 76 seats in the state legislature will be on the ballot. Lawmakers can point to accomplishments in the session that's ending Thursday, including funding for Hawaiian homelands and an increase in the minimum wage. There's a lot of goodies, you know, for incumbents to take to the, uh, the public. At the same time, there's enough of a, kind of a, a desire on behalf of the electorate to, to do uh, to have some change. Former Governor John Wahey believes this is one of the most exciting and important elections in decades. He believes candidates will face more scrutiny over the government's COVID response and other issues. What do you think about uh, abortion? And then, whoa, you know, the question has never been asked for what, at least 40 years. But it's going to be asked now. We have a lot of people in the community that talk about, you know, government control or what has the what has the legislature or the elected officials, uh, you know, done for us recently, and how are we dealing with some of the most difficult economic times that we've faced in a long time? Following the bribery scandal involving longtime lawmakers Senator Jay Kalani English and Representative Ty Cullen, some say this could be an opportunity to push Hawaii in a new direction politically. We've had some real scandal and corruption and issues come to the service that quite frankly have been very embarrassing for Hawaii. This is also a big opportunity for Republicans with a popular name like BJ Penn on the ballot for governor. There are many votes to be claimed in that race, especially after former Honolulu Mayor Kirk Caldwell announced he was not going to run. I don't think he's likely done. Um, you know, there might be another opportunity for him to run, um, perhaps for Congress. Congressman Kai Kaheli still hasn't made an official announcement, but multiple sources say he's leaving D.C. to run for governor. One more change, this will be the first governor's race with voting by mail. We had record turnout last time when we moved to all-mail voting, so the hope is that um, that will people have be a little more familiar with it now, they'll be more comfortable with it. Now, potential candidates are running out of time to file. The deadline is June 7th, just a little over a month away. Ben Gutierrez, Hawaii News Now.